Alright, so today I will be teaching you the trombone. First we're going to start by assembling the trombone. So we'll start with the bell here. I'm going to have you hold that while I get out the next piece. This next piece is called the slide. So whenever we're handling the slide, we always want to make sure that one, the slide lock here is on. We just kind of twist it so that it goes into position there. And that's just so that the slide doesn't slide and fall off because if this slide falls off or is damaged at all, the trombone can be rendered unuseful or unusable. Um, so whenever we're holding the slide, we always want to make sure that we have a grip on both of these handles at all times just so that it doesn't slide off, even if we have the slide lock on, just to be safe. Um, so now that, we, that I've gone over that, we're just going to learn how to put the trombone together. So now I want you to take this part of the slide and put it inside this part of the bell. Gotcha. Okay. Good. All right. So I'll have you twist that in. Very nice. Okay. And now we're just going to make a 90 degree angle between the slide and the, the rest of the body of the trombone. Very nice. Okay, so give me the trombone real quick. And we're going to talk about how to hold it now that it's all together. Um, so we're just going to think of having a, holding a gun or like a water gun, I guess you could say, in our left hand just to hold it like this. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put the trombone so that it fits nice and easy right there on that gun. Okay. Um, so that the thumb goes on the trigger. We won't go into the trigger today, but that's just so that we have it in position. And with just the rest of the trombone just resting nice and easy on that. Mm -hmm. And then that on, with your right hand, you're going to be holding the handle of the slide very nice and lightly, probably with two or three fingers in the thumb, just so that we can move it nice and easy. Notice that whenever I move the slide, I'm not going from side to side this way, mm -hmm. or I'm not going this way, rocking my wrist or anything. That's just so that we don't bend the slide so that we get the best out of the trombone. Um, so now I'm going to let you hold it real quick. <clears throat> so gun in the left hand. Right here and mm -hmm. right like this? Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to let you do this. I'm going to let you try to slide it down. Okay, it's so looking nice and good. Remember, just don't rock it back and forth or twist the wrist. Just nice and natural. Very good. All right, <laughs> so let's put the slide lock on. And now we're going to talk about how to make a noise on the trombone. So I'll take that from you real quick. I'm going to put this over here on the stand. Okay. So we're going to start with the mouthpiece. Whenever you're playing trombone, you want to think warm air and very free movement of the lips and everything else. The only thing that we're going to have semi-firm or tight is going to be the corners of the lips. We just want to keep those nice and firm so that there's not a lot of movement there. Essentially, anything that's outside of the, the brass here, we want to keep nice and firm. Mm -hmm. So if you notice... That will be nice and tight while the rest of my lips are very nice and relaxed and so it allows them to vibrate more. Um, so then we just blow into the mouthpiece and we make a noise. So I'll try and then I'll let you try real quick. Uh, All right, so you go for it. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> so let's just think of nice tight corners. You have that down. Let's just think of relaxing the inner lip right okay. here. Let's go ahead and go for it. So it's, it's, you're good? Okay, so now let's try just bending the pitch, whatever you can. So let's just try bending the pitch of some sort. Just. So just try whatever you can. Okay, so it seems like you have the idea. So whenever we're trying to bend the pitch of the um, trombone or into the mouthpiece, you just want to think of redirecting the air so that higher, of course, you want to redirect the air high. Lower, of course, low. And so also it helps to think of a water hose. So whenever you're holding a water hose, it usually will just stream out nice and easy, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever we want to go higher on the trombone, we want to think of it as essentially putting your thumb over the water hose so that it squirt, like it goes out faster, right? Okay. And yeah. that's essentially what we're going to do with the trombone. We're not going to necessarily tighten the lips. We're just going to kind of put more pressure on so that it goes out a little bit faster. Okay. So let's try just getting as high a note you can out of there. Yeah. Good. Okay. 
So now let's try taking that to the trombone. It's essentially just going to translate exactly over to it. So let's get the grip down again. I'll hold the mouthpiece just so you don't have to worry about it real quick. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. So uh, right here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. So let's put your mouthpiece on there. It's just going to go like this and so not too tight, not too loose. And okay. Unlock. No, let's keep the lock on for right now so just so we can get the F down. Mm -hmm. So let's just try blowing a note on there so see what we get. Okay. Can we loosen up just a little bit? There we go. Okay, so we just learned F and accidentally also B flat. So now what we're going to do, um, I'm going to teach you how to do different notes on the trombone. And so on the trombone, there's seven, seven different slide positions, just different lengths of, on which you're going to put your arm out. So right now you're in first position, okay. which is going to result in F. Um, we're going to go out to second position, which is a little bit further out. So, right about, let's go a little bit that way. A little bit that way, that way. Oh. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to produce E. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and try to just play an E real quick. Okay, so let's go F, E, F, E. All right, so now that we've learned E, we're going to learn four notes today. We're going to learn F, E, E flat, and D. Mm -hmm. So now, if we thought that E was in second position, what would we think E flat is in? Be a little more down, so right okay. here. Okay, so let's consider that third position, right? Let's go just a little bit further down. Perfect. So now let's see, let's hear your E flat. Good. Okay, so let's go F, E, E flat. All right, so let's make sure we're not tight or going too hard out here or gripping too hard. It's nice and loose, okay. nice and free. Um, okay, so now that we know E flat, let's try D, which is just going to be a little bit past the bell for oh, a checkpoint. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're going a little high, so let's try going from F and just sliding down to D. tone. So now let's try going F, pause, E, pause, E flat, pause, so on and so forth. Okay. Good. So the only thing you did wrong there was go a little bit past on E, or a little too far, but that was, that was really good. Um, so thank you for letting me do this video. Thank you for having me. Thank you.